Welcome to Konoma, and Konoma is right behind this sign on the left here. I'm in the middle of the mountains here in Nagaland, and this is an eco village. They do everything here to protect the environment, and that's why it's so lush and beautiful. So, there's no hunting, you can't cut down trees, everything is done organically, all the farming around here. You can't hurt the environment here. It's all meant to be kept pristine and this is quite similar to, well not the philosophies in New Zealand, but they're trying to be nice and clean and green here and that's kind of one of New Zealand's models. But I think this place is going to be a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more greener than New Zealand. Okay, so a very, very quick food tour of a Nagaland village. You have Maggie, you have Waiwai, which is the same thing as Maggie, just slightly different flavouring. And then you have rice with chicken or rice with pork. And galho. Galho is, it's like soup and rice mixed together. It's like a, a ricey porridge. This village is very green, literally. And you just get this feeling of serenity and, and peacefulness here. I don't know what it is. You get that in a lot of villages actually, but this one, I guess because it's up in the mountains, you just feel like you're stuck in the middle of these beautiful, massive mountains. It's just idyllic here. Possibly the only Indian village with dustbins everywhere. Can you guys see these clean streets as well? And actually the cleanness of this village adds to that idyllic feel too. You feel like you're somewhere else when a place is so clean and beautiful, like this village, or like Indore. You're like, this is what India should be like. India is a paradise. We just need to get rid of some of the rubbish. Looking back on my life. Guys, am I in Switzerland? Where? Where am I right now? Look at this. My god. Stunning. Down here is a really interesting area. It's where one of the three clans that are here in this village of 4,000 people congregate. Let's go check out what is down here. This area is basically a village square and a village meeting area. How's this for a, a rustic old village there? rusty old church there, wow. I'm not sure what these buildings are, but they look like, I don't know, they're not forts, but look like kind of meeting houses that they're painting, and I'm guessing they're gonna get them ready for Christmas as a new theme. You see, you've got the, there are all the guns here that they use. What is in here? Oh, there's some weaving going on right here. Looks like a, kitchen area of the meeting house where they're cooking some tea down here and then there's a beautiful view out to the valley. Wow, stunning. Race the chicken. Ah! Come here chicken boy. Caught ya, caught you mate. Your mates are going the other way though. They're there. Say something intelligent. This is hard. <laughs> 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 no man, these are the steps to enlightenment. Yeah. 
Or at least to the road where we oh. have to go. Maybe we're going to heaven like the guy tried to get us to today. Yeah. Oh, I was not in the planning for today. But... Yeshu, I'm coming. Yeshu, whoa. Seriously. Oh. I am nearly coming. This is going to be a selfie related death. They're on the rise in India. See what I do for you guys? Anything for the selfie. Wow. Where are we though? Completely lost. I feel like we're in chicken land. Chickens everywhere. Wow. I do, we're lost. Did you see this park right there? It's know, quite eh? nice. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> ah, more chickens. Damn chickens. Make me hungry. Ah, whoa! Wow! This is a food tour. <laughs> Only chicken on this food tour. Yeah. What a village, guys. This is the most beautiful village and clean village that I've ever been to in my life. And actually, if you want to see my own village in Rajasthan and Haryana, I've got like a whole village series so you can see what life is like to live in these villages. Just like in India. See you.